Okay, in the previous exercise, we saw how to set up some layer comps, and I tried to keep it pretty straightforward for you. But again, yourself, after you've gone through this once or twice, you may want to start messing around with something a little bit more elaborate, like a photo collage, or you could add in different text layers, or pretty much anything that you can do inside Photoshop is free game here. So now at this point, we've saved out three layer comps. We have blue, green, and red inside the layer comps panel, and as you recall, these are all set up as adjustment layers using the hue saturation option, right? So what's kind of cool at this point inside Photoshop is I can flip between these different versions of my composition by clicking in this left-hand column inside the layer comps panel. So for example, I might come back to this file and go, what was the blue composition? I don't remember that. Well, I could click inside this box here and that flips me over to that saved version of my composition, if you will. So in other words, I turn on blue, I see blue show up inside my document, and over inside the layers palette, the other two adjustment layers turn off, the background layer is turned on, and the blue hue saturation adjustment layer turns on. I go to green inside the layer comps panel, and the blue adjustment layer turns off, the green adjustment layer turns on, and so on. So in other words, all we're doing here, and this took me a while to wrap my head around, but all we're doing here inside the layer comps panel is saving out different visibility states, if you will, inside the layers panel. That's how I think of it anyway. So this is looking great. Now I want to get this all into InDesign and see how it plays out. So I'm going to head up to the file menu and then down to save as, and I want to save this guy as a .psd file. So the format menu is set to Photoshop, which is great. I'm saving them inside my project files folder as window.psd. That's great. Go ahead and click on save. You might get a maximize compatibility option there. Go ahead and click on OK. That's fine. Okay, let's head over to InDesign. Now inside InDesign, all I did is I created a brand new blank 8.5 by 11 document. Go ahead and do the same there if you like. And I'm going to go and grab window.psd. So Command D as always, or Control D on the PC side, the Windows side. And inside your project files folder, go and look for window.psd and drop this guy in. Get that loaded icon, just single click. There's our window. And we see the green version of our file because back inside Photoshop, that's the last layer comp that you and I had selected there, right? So that's how it comes into InDesign. Okay, now that's all fine and well, but how can I now access the saved layer comps? Those layer comps get saved inside the .psd file, right? So it's all inside one file. Well, check this out. I'm going to make sure that my my window graphic, my imported image is selected, and then I'll head up to the object menu and then down to object layer options. That's kind of a mouthful. Object layer options. Okay. Now, let me kind of, you know what I'm going to do? Give me two seconds. I'm just going to push this over to the left so that we can see the file on screen, the imported graphic and the dialog box side by side. There we go. Okay, so what I see inside the object layer options dialog box, about halfway down, we have layer comp and layer comp is set to last document state. I'm going to drop that down. And what I see inside this list is a list of the layer comps that you and I had saved or I guess created back in Photoshop. So I could say, hey, show me the blue. I don't remember the blue. And I have preview turned on there over on the right hand side. So right away, I see the change inside InDesign. Now again, for yourself, this could be a maybe a photo collage and you're moving photographs around inside your collage. It might be photo collage one, photo collage two, something like that, right? You're going to see that update happening right inside your InDesign file. You go, all right, that's kind of cool. But what did red look like? So I'm going to go back to the layer comp drop down menu and choose red. And I go, oh, right. Yeah, that's how that looked, that red composition there. Or of course, I can go back to the, the one that we started with, the green. There he is there, right? Pretty cool stuff. I hope you like this. Now, the other thing that I can do, and I think this is awesome, is when I import a layered Photoshop file into InDesign, whether there's layer comps saved inside the file or not, I have this show layers list at the top of the object layer options dialog box. And inside this list, I see all of the layers in the same order 
that we see them inside Photoshop's layers palette. So in other words, this list here is pulling directly from Photoshop's layers palette, right? So then I can go, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what the original file looks like. Well, I'll just turn off the visibility of my hue saturation adjustment layers and go all the way back to the original, which is sitting on the background layer. There he is. And I go, hmm, all right, well, what's on hue saturation one? Oh, right, that's the red guy. Turn that guy off. What's on hue saturation one copy? That's the green guy. What's on hue saturation one copy two? Oh, right, that's the blue guy. Well, you know, I think I like the original the best. So that's the way I'm going to leave it. But anyway, you get the idea, right? So I can turn on and shut off layers at will all inside InDesign, which I think is awesome.